Thank you for clicking on this video. Welcome to Geography Nuts. We are going to get to know Guatemala today. Guatemala is a country with beautiful landscape, challenging history, and unique cultures. Guatemala is located in the Central American region of North America between the Pacific Ocean and Caribbean Sea and shares land borders with Mexico, El Salvador, Honduras, and Belize. While we are discussing borders, let's talk about the long-standing border dispute between Belize and Guatemala. Guatemala claims about half of Belize should be part of Guatemala. The area currently administered by Belize. This disputed area was under Guatemala or part of Guatemala before the European colonization. During the colonization, it was separated and eventually became British Honduras. British government promised to build roads for recognizing British Honduras as a British territory. But the roads were never got built. So Guatemala claimed that the land should be theirs because the promise of the roads were never built. It is more than a century old on and off dispute finally reached the international courts. Both Guatemala and Belize supposed to submit a brief this year about their standing on the case. But the court extended their due dates due to COVID-19. Guatemala ranks very high in biodiversity and has numerous tropical low rainforest and mountain cloud forest. Guatemala is home to over 1200 known species of animal and at least over 8,600 species of vascular plant. The Mayan Biosphere Reserve is second largest forest in Central America after Bosavos in Nicaragua. In addition to its nature, Guatemala is home to some of the largest and most fascinating Mayan ruins. Taikal is one of the most popular sites. This is Guatemala's flag. The two blue stripes represent the fact that Guatemala is located between Pacific Ocean and the Caribbean Sea, as well as the sky. The white stripe signifies the peace and purity of Guatemala. The coat of arm is in the center of the flag. This is the coat of arm of Guatemala. Quetzal, a national bird of Guatemala, is in the middle, representing freedom and independence. Look at the long tail. The Remington rifle was used during the revolution in 1871 to gain independence and it is included in the coat of arm to show Guatemalan capability to defend its interest. The crossed sword represents the justice and honor. The laurel wreath represents the victory. The scroll in the center reads, Liberty, 15th of September of 1821. The date Guatemala gained independence from Spain. Guatemala's capital is Guatemala City, which is located in the Department of Guatemala. Almost a million people who living in Guatemala City has the address Guatemala City, Guatemala, Guatemala. I love saying Guatemala. The word Guatemala means land of the trees or between the trees or many trees or land of the snake eating the bird. Depending on which ancient language you used to translate it. Most countries don't move their capitals. They leave it where it was found. But some countries maybe move their capital once. But Guatemala 
moved it three times. And Guatemala City is the fourth capital of Guatemala. Spanish colonial chose San Diego as their first capital in 1524. Few years later, during a fight between Spanish and natives, natives burned down the capital. So, so the capital was moved to Ciudad Vija. And this capital was destroyed by earthquake and avalanche. Few years later, the capital got moved for the second time in 1541 to Antigua. Then Antigua got destroyed in the earthquake. And the capital was moved for the third time to Guatemala City in 1774. Politically, Guatemala is divided into 22 departments which are further divided into 340 municipalities. Geography Guatemala is 105th largest country with little less than 109,000 square kilometers. It's not a big country. Guatemala is gifted with so many natural wonders, including breathtakingly beautiful mountains, lakes, volcanoes, small patches of desert, sand dune, black volcanic sand beaches on the Pacific coast, and some large coral reef in the Caribbean side. Two main mountain ranges divide Guatemala into three geographical regions. One, the highlands where the mountains are located, to the Pacific coast, which is south of the mountains, and third, the Peyton region, which is a lower land located north of the mountains. Highest mountain in Guatemala is Tanjamoco, which is also the highest mountain in Central America with a height of about 4,220 meters. Guatemalan rivers on the Pacific side are mostly short and shallow. However, the Caribbean side are longer and deeper. The longest river is Montagua River at about 486 kilometers long. Largest lake in Guatemala is Lake Isabel with about 590 square kilometer surface area. However, this is not the deepest lake. Lake Atitlan is the deepest lake in Guatemala. Actually, it's also the deepest lake in all of Central America with a depth of about 340 meters. Climate. Guatemala enjoys a warm climate throughout the year with the average temperature of about 20 degrees Celsius throughout the year. It's a little bit warmer in the mountain region and cooler in the lower lands of Peyton region and the Caribbean coast. Guatemala's location between Caribbean Sea and the Pacific Ocean makes it a target for hurricane. Excessive rainfall during the hurricane causes significant flood and mudslide. Recent hurricane Eta hit Guatemala in early November and killed at least 100 people. History! The first evidence of humans in Guatemala dates back almost 20,000 years. Guatemala was home to ancient Mayan civilizations. Mayans were powerful and advanced civilization. They developed written script, established irrigation system, and built many pyramids that still stands today. They became powerful and formed different villages rival each other, fought over trade and resources, and battle each other. The Mayan civilization was at its peak between the first and the 8th century. By the beginning of 9th century, Mayan Empire fell. 
and they abandoned their cities. No one knows the reason why the emperor failed, but one other reason is that they became too powerful. They rivaled each other and they destroyed each other. That is one theory. When the European arrived in the 14th century, Mayan civilization was already declining. Some of them put up a fight, but the others formed alliance with Spanish. Guatemala became a Spanish colony in 1524. Spanish built many cities fashioned after their hometown. They grow coffee bean and indigo, but the economy didn't flourish like some other Spanish area. However, Spain ruled Guatemala for nearly 300 years. In 1821, Guatemala gained independence from Spain and became part of Mexican Empire. But that didn't last long. Later it became part of the United Provinces of Central America. That lasted for a while. Then in 1847, Guatemala declared itself an independent republic and Rafael Carrera became its first president. After that, Guatemala went through a period of dictatorship. A United States fruit company called United Fruit Company started losing its profit because local farmers were producing and developing farms. So they got CIA involved and developed a coup to overthrow the president and helped Carlos Castillo Armas to come to power. He is friendly toward US and the fruit company. Civil war started in 1960 due to human rights violations, mainly to indigenous people. Their cause was championed by a lady called Rigoberta Mencho. She received a Nobel Peace Prize in 1992 for bringing international attention to the government-sponsored genocide against the indigenous population. Guatemalan civil war ended in 1996 after the loss of many people. UN mediated the peace deal between the guerrillas and the government. Guatemala made significant improvement but their political problem still exist, but had some level of human development. That's all the time we have for Guatemala's history. People and culture. Approximately 17 million people live in Guatemala and Guatemala is ranked 66th largest country in the world by population, mainly Two ethnic groups influence most of Guatemala's culture, the indigenous Mayans and the Mistos. There is a visible difference between poor village Mayans and urban, relatively wealthy Mistos. Garifuna people is a minority group of people live along the Caribbean coast. They are descendant of African slave and Arawak Indians. They have a very unique culture and it's different from the other part of Guatemala. Spanish is spoken by 93% of Guatemalans and it is the official language. However, the dialect is a little bit different. It has some Mayan words mixed with Spanish. But there are 21 Mayan languages are still in use. Many Mayans don't speak Spanish. However, they are encouraging their children to learn Spanish so they can have a better life. Mayan people wear brightly colored woven clothes like cape, shirt, blouse and long skirts. Each village has its own unique pattern, making it easier to identify their hometown on site. In urban areas of Guatemala, people wear jeans, shirt, pants, similar to what you would expect in United States. 
റോമൻ കത്തോലിസം ഇസ് ദ മെയിൻ റിലിജൻ ബട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് എ ട്വിസ്റ്റ് ഓവർ ദ ഇയേഴ്സ് കത്തോലിസം മേർച്ച് വിത്ത് ഏൻഷ്യൻ മായൻ ട്രഡീഷൻസ് ആൻഡ് ഫോംഡ് സം ബട്ട് ഓഫ് എ യുനീക്ക് കാത്തലിക് റിലിജൻ ദിസ് റിഫ്ലക്റ്റ് ഇൻ ദ ലോക്കൽ സെയിൻറ്റ് മാക്സിമോ നോൺ ആസ് സാൻ സിമോൺ ഓഫ് ക്വാട്ടമാല ഹി ഇസ് ഓൾവേസ് ഡിപ്പിക്റ്റ് ഇൻ ബ്ലാക്ക് വേഴ്സ് എ ബ്ലാക്ക് ഹാഡ് ആൻഡ് സിറ്റ്സ് ഓൺ എ ചെയർ ഓഫൺ വിത്ത് എ സിഗാർ പ്ലേസ്ഡ് ഇൻ ഹിസ് മൗത്ത് and a gun in his hand with an offering of tobacco alcohol and coca cola at his feet protestant religion has grown in urban centers in recent years guatemalans love their sports especially soccer a version of soccer called futsal is played on a hard court with a small ball almost like playing soccer in a basketball court guatemalans make some of the most flavorful and delicious food in central america corn black bean rice meat beef chicken or pork egg cheese and tortilla are a mainstay most popular dish in guatemala is pepia a thick meat stew but you can find the seafood version in the coastal area most guatemalan meal include fresh fruits including mangoes papayas or bananas thanks to their location and the weather some of the best arabica coffee comes from guatemala economy guatemalan currency is quetzal one quetzal is equal to about 10 to 15 US cents. Guatemala's 81 billion dollar economy is the largest in Central America and 66th largest economy in the world based on their nominal GDP. Per capita income or just the average income of Guatemala is 4500 US dollars which rank them at 103rd in the world. Guatemala's economy is stable and growing at about 3 to 4 percentage in the last few years distribution of income is highly unequal more than half the population live below the poverty line and 23 percentage of the population live in extreme poverty poverty rate is high among the indigenous people nearly one half of all guatemalan children under the age of 5 are chronically malnourished one of the highest malnourished rate in the world service industry including tourism account for 63 percentage of the economy light assembly food processing and textile accounts for 23 percentage of the economy agriculture account for 13 percentage of the economy major agriculture exports include sugar banana and coffee over the past several years fruits and cut flower exports are booming thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new we packed a lot of information next time when you have a coffee check where it came from maybe it's from guatemala if you don't mind please smash the like button and subscribe to our channel